Dara Leahy gets it forward. Vincent Borden just slips there and Parsons nearly gets possession for Waterford but they have it through Dara Power. Power advances on the right. Power slips a pass inside towards McAdam. McAdam with the cross headed away by Bruder. Great effort there from McCourt. Good switch of play there. Um, we got a lot of room. You know, it's such a, we didn't want to concede an early goal like we did against Pat Keane. So, thankfully, probably the elements on the ground didn't help his come. Robbie McCourt, Regan Donnan, just drills it back into Waterford territory. Aid Irvin. Handball clean there from the visitors, but referee yeah, Patchell Ways play on. Borden looks for O'Sullivan down the line. O'Sullivan from an acute angle. Good effort from Carlo O'Sullivan there from a tight angle, Ollie. Yeah, it was a nice. Um, Played ball into him, and just obviously ran away from. Him, but um, go, but hopefully now we'll settle Keane and uh, get it down and start p- play with a bit of uh, confidence. Dara Power for goal. advances for Waterford. Goal. Sam Sargent, Sargent to Power, Power to O'Keefe, O'Keefe. This ball ends up at the feet of Connor Parsons Parsons does well Great and ball. fizzes the ball into the area Porrick Hammond at the back stick and a brilliant goal for Waterford FC his second goal for Waterford FC Porrick Hammond it owed much to the class of Connor Parsons who supplied a sweet assist Ollie. Parsons is quality Kim. we saw him here last year as well Everton he does he's very direct very skillful player but you see what he, what he does as a good winger is his quality in his deliveries the ball into the box there was unbelievable for um, Ahmed coming in the back post for his first goal back since he left Ireland but uh, great finish you know that's what you wanted for your centre forward as well I'm going to provide the crosses and hopefully you're at the end of them which he was and em- back in the empty net and great goal for Waterford I have to say well played by Parsons Parsons did ever so well down the right there he charged with a real purpose subsequently delivered the cross and Porrick Ahmed Quality he's made a career boxing. out of score nice bit of movement from the players McCormick takes the corner kick towards yeah. the back post good header there from Ammond only as far as A. Durvin Durvin it's drills like, a what? gorgeous oh. effort hits the woodwork Waterford survive a scare McCarthy oh my God. a second attempt just goes wide what an effort for A. Durvin there scored his first goal with a United goal last week and he came within a whisker of adding a second Ollie. yeah fabulous touch got out of his feet got himself a bit of composure and a great hit you know um, I, I'd say it was fractions away from going in the way it hit the crossbar down and out but uh, and the follow up as well from, from uh, McCarthy was a lucky as well thought Hurley was going to get touching at the back post but fabulous strike Bruder Bruder Goal from kick. Newcastle West to Cullum Horgan Horgan does well to get it under control Horgan inside to Dave Hurley Hurley the Cork man for Galway United to Aid Irvin Irvin from Longford on the edge of the area Durvin fizzes oh, yes. it in Borda Restores parity at Eamon DC Park. An 11th goal with United goal for Vincent Borden. Yeah, great ball in. I said it at half time, said it at the start of the second half. John would have emphasised about a bit of quality in the box. The first opportunity we got there, Durvin again, who's been the star man tonight. Great ball in again for Borden to, to meet it uh, first time. And all the, there was enough pace in the ball. All it needed was a bit of direction to the corner. But a great start to the half for Galway. Cool, Fortjeg, Far Merica, Vincent Borden, Jaskowil, Faris and Gararua, Jeremy Dokeja, Farwell, a Playla, McDarrell and a Blinta, Tasha Branu is shocking, Oak, Dagas Pushy Sossel and Goldshin, oh, Vince Borden, Agus Talk Gayenta, Rash, Egheen, Egheen, Let, Port Lorigan, Shaw, Connor Parsons from. I have to say that he's. He's up like a quarterback issuing instructions on the right hand side, looking at the, the angle he has to hit it. McCormack to Hurley. Hurley. The oh, Lord goal. To the Stephen Hurley. His first in the season. Sam Sargent will be disappointed, but that'll scarcely bother David Hurley, who edges Galway United 2 1 ahead, Ali. Yeah, look at him. Clever free kick again by McCormack. Delayed off him, but great power in the shot. Um, totally deceived the goalkeeper. Well, I'm going to give a bit of kudos for, to Brendan Clark over here as well. Um, he was kind of orchestrating, telling which way to go, giving him directions from where he's angled. He nearly came over right in front of us here in the gantry. So look at, hopefully now Goa can hold on to this lead. Far Corky, Dave Hurley 
Farrell Gwege, a Kame Sangwege, a old school Kirky, a Farrell Nyarchain Tegan, Gansi Gallain, and Dave Hurley. He's guided Galway United 2 1 to the good here in the closing stages at Eamon DC Park. It's been lively, it's been frenetic, it's been fast, it's been furious. But United. back though. Horton tries to switch to the point of attack. Burke does well to get it under control. Nice footwork there from Ryan Burke. Burke skips inside. Ryan Burke, low, driven effort. It was a decent attempt too, Ollie. Yeah, look at back into the reliable Clark as well, you know. Um, watched it well and nice nice bit of play again by Burke coming in from left to right and probably got it on his weaker foot, but Clark again, nice and composed, you know, he's He's too long in the game to now, as far as he can into the far as The Waterford as goalkeeper, half. Sergeant. Referee okay. Alan Patchell blasts the full time whistle. John Caulfield punches the air and the light. Galway United prevail here at Eamon DC Park. A first defeat of the season for Waterford. They were spirited throughout, but Galway United claimed the full complement as points. Ollie Neary. Yeah, look, it's a well deserved second half. We said it um, during the first half and the start of the second half. Looking for a bit of quality into the box, and we got it straight away from Lear Durban. Uh, well dispatched by Borden and uh, the free kick after that. Do you know, Golo well deserved the, the three points here. Their levels of fitness are quite good as well. So that last week in Dundalk, uh, maybe the pitch got on top of the first game of the season here, the Pats game. But, uh, you know, they, they had other than the half chances in the second half. But, you know, they kept it uh, Waterford at arm's length for most of the second half.